as a cricket fan, you know, going outside there, Brian is playing against Trinidad. Um, he has with him Herschel Gibbs on his side. So that's a strong side as well. You know, Darren has Justin Kemp and, and a couple of the South Africans. So that's a, you know, powerful side. See how Trinidad stacks up against that. And then the Jamaicans who will want revenge because we beat them in the finals <laughs> to get there. So, you know, all of that makes for such a great um, day of cricket. It's a cricket festival like no other ever witnessed in Trinidad and Tobago and fittingly will mark TNT's 50th anniversary of independence celebrations. But additionally, according to chairman of the organizing committee, Dane Darbasi, this competition serves an even higher purpose. It's a celebration of our 50th anniversary of independence through cricket. And besides providing entertainment to the nation, it also gives us the opportunity to provide much needed practice for a national cricket team as they prepare for uh, Champions League in October. The Prince of Port of Spain will part up for perhaps the first time in years and as pictured here on a recent visit to Lords in the UK is not taking this event lightly at all. Fellow sporting ambassador Darren Ganga can certainly attest. We've, we've sat down and we've uh, you know, invited a couple of international players, uh, plus West Indian international players, and we've tried to balance our teams a bit. You know, Brian is, is very competitive, so he's, you know, he wanted to take all the, the good players, um, but we shared, shared the international players and the West Indian players, and we've come up with a nice combination of, of two teams, and I'm looking forward to Reporting for CNC3 Sports, I am Jassi Marik.